Hello, let's do our Tai Chi workout. Feet shoulder width. Bend your knees. Sink into your hip joints. Start shifting your weight. Bend one hip joint. Bend the other. Relax the shoulders. Let the arms swing. Sink into one side. Sink into the other. Try to get your hip to pull back rather than jut out. You want to pull it back. Okay. Good. Okay. A little wider. Shift the weight. Good. Okay. Wider still. Keep the feet parallel, shift a little more carefully. Try to feel one hip creasing, the other one opening up, one creases, one opens. Okay, open, close, open, close, open, close. Okay, then push palms in front of the shoulders. Okay, so don't move the arms. Keep the arms in front of the shoulders and just use the hips to turn to help you push. Okay, all right, so five of these, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. Okay, drop the left hand and pick up the right one. Drop the right hand and pick up the left one. Two, two, three, three. Four, four, five, five, circle the hand by the ear, push, one, circle the left hand by the ear, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, Five. Okay, circle the hand by the ear and push the opposite direction. One, so I circle out. One, and close, circle away. Two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. Okay, now sweep the feet across. One, one, Two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. Okay, one foot sweep five times. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, other side. One, two, three, four. Five. Okay, pick up one foot, one foot, and pick up the hand, one, then switch side, one, two, two, three, three, four, Four, five, five. Okay, now extend the foot. So I pick up both hands, pick up the knee, and kick out. One. Okay, try the other side. Up and out. One. Okay, other side. Pick up and out. Two. Up and out. Two. Okay, change side. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. 
Okay, now let's circle the knee. Hold out the hands, pick up the knee, circle, one, other side, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, Five. Okay, now let's circle five times, same way. Okay, if you want, you can extend your foot. Then, so pick up one, same foot, two, three, four, five. Okay, making sure to pick up the knee first before extending the foot. Don't kick up the foot, but pick up the knee and then extend. Okay. Practice your balance. Okay, five times on the other leg. So pick up, then extend. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, good. Back on the ground. Right foot forward, left foot back, 45 degrees. Make sure you have space between your legs like you're on train tracks, standing on train tracks. Okay, shift the weight. Sink down forward, sink back, sink forward, sink back, letting the hips turn, back leg bends. Okay, palms in front, same as before, shift the weight. One, two, two, three, three, four, four, five. Five, drop the right hand, pick up the left one, drop the left hand, pick up the right one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. Circle the left hand by the ear and push one, right hand by the ear, push one, two, two, three, three. Four, four, five, five. Okay, outward circling. So push away one, circle away one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. Okay, so now I want to do a new variation. To go along with the moves we're going to be doing today. Okay, <clears throat> so for this one, put your both palms in, okay, right hand high in front of you, and then when you shift all your weight, turn the left palm out. Okay, both palms turn out, right hand guards by your head, okay, your lead hand guards by your head if you're on the other side mirroring me, okay, and the left pushes up. Okay, and then you can do the other side. Dropping back, hands come in, and you have to lift the left hand, high block, or redirection, and then push with the right. Okay, so notice how the right goes out, the left stays by the head. Okay, don't do like this. Left up, high block, and then push the right. Okay, so let's do five of those. So come in, right hand comes up, and push out. Okay, it's two, up with the left, push with the right, two. Up with the right, push with the left. Three, up with the left, push with the right. Three, four, four, five, five. Let's do a few more. Six, six, in, up with the lead hand, and then follow up with the opposite hand. Okay, seven, seven. Okay, all right. We'll do more of that later. Switch side. Okay, and then back to the other moves. Sink down, shift the weight. Okay, palms forward, push. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, 
five, left hand down, right hand up, one, right hand down, left hand up, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, circle my hand by the ear and push, one, left hand by the ear, push, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, okay, now push opposite direction, one, circle out, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. Okay, now do our four corners move again. So first the left palm comes up, left arm comes up, then I turn it out and I push with the opposite. Okay, I come in, right hand comes up, push, one, in, out, two, in, out, two, three, right hand, lead hand is up, three, lead hand comes up, four, seven of these, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven. Okay, now hold the posture, the left foot back, balance, the left leg, step out with the right, hold up the arms, relax. Sink the breath. Okay, good. Now change sides. Right foot comes in, shift the weight, sink down. Step out with the left heel and then hold up the hands, sink the shoulders. Hands should feel like they're just floating there, not holding them out. And relax, sink down, breathe. Okay, good. Then shake out the legs. Practice the stomping. So I pick up the opposite leg, opposite hand. Let the foot fall. Boom. And then immediately shift the weight. Okay, so foot falls down. Immediately shift. Okay. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. Okay. So let's um, continue with the form. Uh, last time we did um, we did the Tai Chi walking sequence from the, the spin kick. So let's start with the spin kick, review that one time. Okay. <clears throat> so after the uh, separate left foot, right, separate left foot, we spun around, toe, and kick with heel. And come back, sink it down, brush the and push. Then other side, brush the and push, then turn off the toe, 
take a step, brush, push. And here we do low punch, we'll turn out the toe, close the right fist, step, sink, punch. Finally, ward off, turn out the left toe, left hand comes up, step forward with the right, right hand comes up. Okay, <clears throat> that's where we ended. Then we repeat the moves we've done uh, previously. So we do roll back here, roll back, press, push, and single lift. Turn the left, right toe turns in, hold the ball, take the hook hand, extend the hook hand, pivot left, step left, toe goes down, lift up the left hand, Right toe turns in, left hand turns over. Okay, so from here we're going to do four corners. You start, first corner goes this direction, so to your right, or the direction that your hook hand is facing now. So I start here, and I'll go over this in more detail later. I'll just go through it one time um, just somewhat quickly. So I turn to the right, left toe turns in. Sit under that left leg, right palm turns in, pivot, and step with the right heel. So this is a crossing step, so my toe turns out. Shift the weight, step with the left heel. And as we were doing just earlier, when I put the toe down, I lift the left hand, then I turn out and push with the right. So you can see I'll step back, left hand comes up and I push with the right. The left hand is guarding, right arm extending a little bit because I'm turning my body to the left so my right side has a little more power to push off. Okay, <clears throat> now the hand moves stay the same, but the stepping will be different. I'm gonna do a um, 260 degree step. So I sit back, my palms turn in. I turn in my left toe, okay, turn out the left heel, sit back on the left foot, and I Pivot, look to the right. Okay, draw in the right foot, step wide to the right. Right toe goes down, right hand comes up. You see, you can see my foot. Right toe goes down, right hand comes up. Shift the weight and push with the left hand. Okay. So again, the right hand guarding high, and the opposite hand, in this case, the left hand pushes up. Weight's on the right leg. Okay. So that's the second corner. This is the four corners move. So the third corner is just the corner to your left. So I sit back, I draw my hands in, step across, okay, shift the weight, looking to the left corner, step to the left corner with the left foot, left hand comes up, shift the weight, and push. So notice I start with the palms in, and then I go palms out. Okay. So now last step, we'll take another big step. So turn in the left toe, sit back, pivot, and then step wide to the right. Right toe goes down, right hand comes up, shift the weight, and push with the left hand. Okay, so you should be facing the right corner. Okay? And then from here, well, I think I'll stop there, okay? The four corners is pretty complicated. All right. So um, let's start from that single whip before. Okay, a single whip. All right, first they go to the right, turn right, left toe turns in, palms are facing in, step with the right, okay, shift the weight, step with the left. As the toe goes down, the left hand comes up, and then as I shift the weight, I push with the right hand. Okay, then I turn 260 degrees, turn, 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 step to the right, right hand comes up, shift the weight, push with the left hand. Okay, sit back, step across, shift the weight, step with the left heel, left hand comes up, turn and push with the right. Okay, finally turn all the way to the right, left toe turns in, pivot, step wide to the right, Right hand comes up, left toe goes down, shift the weight and push, okay? So the order of the corners, okay, the first corner, second corner, third corner, and fourth corner. 
Okay, but we don't keep turning this way. Okay, we turn different ways each time. All right, so let's start with single whip again. Single whip, hook hand is out, good posture. Okay, and I turn in that left toe. I turn right. Okay, shift the weight, crossing step. Okay, shift the weight, step left, left hand up, and push. Okay, and it's good to repeat this one. So toe goes down, hand comes up, like that. Toe goes down, left hand comes up, boom, boom. Okay, both palms are still in, but then when I shift the weight, boom, I turn the palm out. Okay, so see this left hand, like opening a door, okay, through which the right hand goes. Okay, so I'll open the door and send the right hand through. Okay, boom, both palms turning out as I shift the weight and turn my torso, okay? Boom, boom, okay, boom, like that, okay? This rotates, this extends, elbow stays down, okay? All right, so now turn all the way to the right. Again, when I come back, I turn my palms in, left toe turns in, pivot, look to the right before you step, step with the heel, now, toe goes down, right hand comes up, like before. Toe down, hand up. Toe down, hand up. Toe down, hand up. Okay? Then, when I shift the weight, same thing. I shift the weight, palms up. Okay? Shift the weight, palms up. And this time when you shift the weight, the back toe is going to follow. Okay? See my back toe pivots in. Okay? Shift the weight, palms up. Boom. Palms up. Okay? So try to get my right palm is turning out. I want my, the right side of my body to kind of pull back because I'm sinking into the right hip, okay? So my right side is pulling back. That means my left side can be driving forward, okay? Right pulls back, left drives forward, okay? What you don't want to do is like this, then you have no turning power, okay? You're just kind of like leaning and falling forward, okay? Pull back one side so the other side can close the distance, okay, or cover distance. All right, so that's second corner. Now I'm gonna sit back, palms in, and step across. So this step across is kind of like the sweep we do in the beginning exercises. And sit back, sweep across, oh, <laughs> keep your balance, right? Sweep across, step with the heel, shift the weight, step with the left, okay, left toe here. Okay, toe goes down, hand comes up. Okay, same as the other. Toe goes down, hand comes up. Without shifting the weight, toe goes down, hand comes up. And then shift the weight and turn over the hand. Okay, shift the weight, turn over the hand. Right side extends. So really think of that hip moving to help drive the right hand forward. So just extend the arm. Okay, let the arm be fairly loose. Okay, have the hip drive it forward. Okay, all right, all the way around. Okay, turn to the right now. Left toe turns in, pivot, pull the right foot, and step wide to the right. Okay, move it over here. Wide to the right, right toe down, right hand up. Shift the weight, push. Okay, same thing as before. So when I put that toe down, on this side, I'm a little bit more open. My hips are open here. Okay, toe goes down. Knee should stay over the toe. Okay, but my torso can still turn. So I kind of open the hips. Open. The toe goes down. Open. And then when I shift the weight, I turn the hands over and close. So now hips are closed. I want everything to help line up and push this left hand out. Okay, push. 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 Okay. Um, <clears throat> we do a couple of basic drills just to get the idea of that crossword stepping. So if I didn't go to the corner and if I was just facing you um, <clears throat> and I had my right foot forward, let's say if I want to walk forward, right foot forward, okay, right hand up, pushing out. Okay. <clears throat> now I want to sit back okay, and I'm just going to step to the corner. So this is the crossing step. So I cross my foot over, shift the weight, step with the left, 
toe goes down left hand comes up and push okay now I can do the opposite side sit back cross my foot over shift the weight step with the right right hand comes up push okay then I'm back to where I started if you have room you could do more of these okay so sit back cross over okay shift the weight step toe down hand up push okay sit back cross over shift the weight step toe down hand up push okay so if i do it along the line here we do a little more room we'll start from this position sit back cross over shift the weight step hand up and push okay sit back cross over if you want you can use your hand to kind of remind you where your foot should be going like the hand and foot kind of slice across okay shift the weight step right hand up push okay step back cross over shift the weight step left hand up push okay one more sit back cross over shift the weight step right hand up and push okay and let's do a few let's do a line going back okay so right hand forward right leg forward i should say left hand forward sit back cut across shift the weight step left hand up push okay sit back cut across shift the weight step with the heel right hand up push sit back step across shift the weight step with the left heel left hand up push do one more step across shift the weight step with the right heel right hand up and push okay good all right <clears throat> so that's the small turn the crossing step so let's go through the sequence again and then maybe we'll work on the big turn okay so from here First is the crossing step, so I turn to the right, left toe turns in, sit back, okay, and now I kind of cut across with that first step. So that right foot cuts across, shift the weight, step, left hand up, and push. Okay, now all the way around, scoot back a little bit, all the way around, turn to the right, left toe turns in, pivot to the right, Step wide to the right, right toe down, right hand up, shift the weight and push. Okay, now our crossing step, sit back, cut across, shift the weight, step with the left, left hand up, push. Okay, turn all the way around. Okay, toe turns in, pivot, foot to the right, step to the right, right toe down, and push. Okay. Good. So let's go over that um, that big turn a few times. Um, so if we just practiced from, well, let's get into it from single whip. So from here, I turn in the left toe, sit back, do my cut across, my crossing step. Okay, step with the left heel, left hand up, and push from here. All right, so now we can go back and forth doing the big turn, okay? So big turn, sit back, turn in the left toe, okay? Turn out the heel, so I try to turn to get that toe facing opposite direction. So I'm gonna turn all the way here, okay? So I'm sitting back, turn to the right, okay, look to the right, okay? Pick up the right foot, step wide to the right, right toe goes down, right hand comes up, shift the weight, and push okay so now I want to go if I want to go back this direction I can do that too so I can sit back turn in the right toe okay pivot look left step left left toe goes down left hand comes up shift the weight push okay Okay, then go back the other way. So I'm just going to go back and forth with a big turn. So each time I go from this corner to that corner, okay, to, turning 270 degrees or so. Okay, so sit back, turn, 
pivot, right, step right, right hand up, and push. Okay, back to the left, to the left, all the way, pivot, step, left hand up, push. Okay, then turn right, turning in the right toe, pivot, look right, step right, right toe down, push. Okay, so without the arms, basic idea is just turn in the toe, okay, and then pick up the other heel. Okay, so if you face this way, I turn in the toe and pick up the other heel. Okay, so think toe, heel. Okay, toe, heel. Okay, toe, heel. Okay, when I've got the heel up, I pivot and step. Okay, got that? All right. And if I go back the other way again, toe, heel. Okay, toe, heel. Okay, a little drill you can do if you want. Toe, heel, step. Okay, toe, heel, step. Okay, toe, heel, step, toe, heel, step. Okay, I step with the heel, right? Okay, so toe, heel, step. Okay, two more of those in here. Turn in the toe, pick up the heel, step. Okay, and I turn in the toe, pick up the heel, Step. Okay. Notice the back toe turns in after I shift the weight and turn in the toe. Pick up the heel. Step. Okay. Back toe follows. Do one more. Turn in the toe. Heel. Step. Okay. All right. Let's do a couple more times. Um, one time uh, facing this way, and then I'll turn around. So you can get that other direction. Okay, so from here, I'm single whip. So turn to the right, step back, crossing step, first corner to the right, step with the left, left hand comes up, push with the right. Okay, then all the way back, turn in the left toe, pivot, look right, step right, right hand comes up, push with the left hand. Okay, sit back, crossing step, shift the weight, step with the left, left hand comes up, push. Okay, all the way around, right heel comes up, look right, step right, right hand comes up, push. Okay, okay, so now I'll do that facing the other direction. I face this way. Okay, make sure you can see here, I'm like this in single whip. I'm going to go this way, same movements, I'm just facing opposite way. So I do four corners, turn to the right, left toe turns in, shift the weight, step to the right, shift the weight, step with the left heel, left hand comes up, push. Okay, then all the way around, turning right, left toe turns in, pick up the heel, look right, step right, right hand comes up, shift the weight, push. Okay, that's two. Now third corner, shift the weight, step across, shift the weight, step with the left, left hand comes up and push. Okay, last one, all the way around, sit back, turn to the right, pick up the right heel, step to the right, right toe down, right hand up, shift the weight and push. Okay? Um, okay, so one more time facing normally. Facing the camera, okay, and get way back here, I have room. Okay, <clears throat> so first corner, turn right. Step to the right, one, two, left hand, right hand. Okay, then turn all the way to the right. Step, right hand, left hand. Okay, sit back. Step to the left, one, two, left hand, 
right here. Okay, then all the way around. Pivot, look right, step right, right hand, left hand. Okay, good. All right, so that was the four corners sequence. Uh, pretty close to the end of the four. Maybe two more of these videos, and then we'll have the, all, the whole form down. And, uh, well, at least I've taught the whole form, and we'll be able to review the whole thing in the coming weeks. Okay, thanks for joining me.